Hey guys, welcome to my review of this. The Fine Fine Ampla Game. It's a desktop mic, and today we're gonna to figure out what it's for, how does it sound, and should you get one? All of that soon to come. I do wanna point out that it did get sent to me free of charge, but that won't influence my review in any way. I just feel like I gotta put that out there. And then at the same time, if you guys could like and subscribe before we get into this, that really would help me as a small creator. I've got, or I'm trying to get to 750 subscribers, so that'd really help me out. But without anything else, let's get into it. Let's get into this, what even is this thing? It's basically a standalone mic. So it's got a desk mount, or you can actually arm mount it. And it's basically just an upgrade over either an integrated like laptop mic or a headset mic. It's just to kind of get your voice to sound better and clearer. Okay, so now that we know what it is, let's go over some basic features of what it has. So it's got a USB-C port and a headphone jack on the bottom of it. USB-C is basically just so I can plug into the computer and get power. And then the other the headphone port, one thing it does that's really cool is it does like act like an output for your PC. But the other thing it does is it provides feedback. So like if you were to like have noise canceling headphones on or something like that, and you, but you still wanted to hear your own voice, it pipes your own voice into the headphone jack, which I think is pretty cool. I really enjoy that. That's actually why I have open back headphones. I just, I can't handle like talking and not hearing my own voice because then I end up like talking really loud. It's kind of weird. Um, another cool thing that it has is it's got a physical mute button. So if you like just want to like tap mute, like you just tap the top of it and it mutes instantaneously rather than having to go into like Discord or something and mute yourself there. So that's pretty cool too. That's kind of like the practical benefits of it other than just like the sound itself. But as for everything else, it comes with an included stand, which is, I mean, stand pretty great, but there's also a mount so you can mount it on an arm. So if you have a threaded arm, like one of like what I have there for the my other microphone, you can mount it on there really easily. And the cool part about that is that it basically like allows you to put the microphone away from your desk. So I have a keyboard with blue switches in it, which are like cherry blue. Well, I don't think they're cherry, they're nice enough, but they like are really clicky when you press them. And one cool thing about that is that, well, I just really enjoy it, but by being able to move the microphone further away from your keyboard and your like mouth, it tends to make that sound like less audible. One other cool thing about it is it has an included shock mount. So that allows it to kind of isolate itself from your desk. So even if you have it sitting on your desk and you're typing, those vibrations won't necessarily transfer into the microphone. It helps isolate it and it gets you to get way better sound than you could otherwise. And last but not least, of course, it does have RGB lighting and it does look really cool. Like, I think it looks pretty awesome. Like the effect is actually way better than you think it'd be, especially for this price. It doesn't like the RGB looks really cool and like you can adjust it. There's, I think, like nine different settings and they have uh, lights on the top and the bottom. So it's not like just one color. It's got like a transitional thing, which I think is really cool. One, one thing I do want to point out though, is it does have a pop filter on it, but it's not really like a mesh pop filter. It's not like a cloth. It's more of like a solid. So I don't know how effective that'll be, but also in the past, I haven't found pop filters to be that impactful on your audio quality, unless you're like talking directly into it, which if you do, I think it would be a, it is like a, it's definitely better than nothing. So I think that's pretty cool too. And also it does have their like little smiley face logo on it, which you can't really see all that well, but it's kind of fun. So now we're gonna get into some testing. So basically the way I'm gonna do this is I am gonna do three different mic tests. I'm gonna run one on my Rode uh, VideoMic Pro that I have on top of the camera. I'm gonna do one on my Blue Yeti, and then I'm gonna do one on the Fine Fine Ampli Game. And I'm just gonna put all the comparisons out there. Okay, so here's a test of the Rode VideoMic Pro. So testing, testing, this is a test of the Rode VideoMic Pro. Okay, now the Blue Yeti. Hey guys, now you're going to get a test of what the Blue Yeti microphone sounds like. So I'm just going to talk a little bit here so you get a more thorough understanding of what this one sounds like. So yeah. Okay, now the Ampligame. Hey guys, this is the test of the Fine Fine Ampligame A8 microphone. I'm just going to talk a little bit here so you guys get a thorough understanding of like what it sounds like and all that stuff. So one of the tests that I did want to run was whether or not it isolates keyboard noise because I talked about that earlier. So I'm gonna put it next to my keyboard and I'm gonna run a test. Hey guys, this is a recording of me gaming while on the microphone. I'm just gonna like, kind of like game a little bit here, press random buttons, I don't know, click around. Okay, you guys can make of that what you will from the audio testing, but personally, especially between the Blue Yeti and the Ampli game, I can't really tell difference. 
Um, I mean, it does definitely sound slightly different, but I don't think it's a difference of whatever the Blue Yeti costs in addition. But I will also say that the Blue Yeti has the ability to pick up in different patterns, so it can do like more directional audio if you're trying to isolate it in that, that way. So that is a thing that this doesn't have, but for just putting it on your desk and using it to like talk to your friends and get better audio quality while you game, I think it does a really great job. I also do want to point out that the Blue Yeti does have a, like a lot more software that you can use, whereas this doesn't really have any included software. It just recognizes itself as a USB microphone and your computer does pick it up. Like I didn't have to go install any drivers or anything like that. Okay, so let's get into the conclusion. So overall, I think this is a pretty good microphone. It does a great job of what it says it should. It looks pretty cool and it has a bunch of features that if you want, it's definitely there and they have. I don't think there's anything that like, I mean, let's put it this way. I'm sure if you want to spend more money, you could get better audio quality. But if all you're trying to do is like record a podcast that's like relatively small, like just for your, like, if you just want to like get into podcasting, or if you want to like start gaming with your friends and you don't want to have like a uh, headset mounted mic or something like that, and you're just looking for something cool to put on your desk to record your voice, I think it does a great job. Overall, I couldn't really be more happy with it. And you know what? I definitely enjoyed using it. So thank you all so much for watching. If you guys could please like and subscribe, that always helps me out as a small creator. I'm trying to get 750 subscribers. And also if you uh, do end up wanting to check it out, there's a link in the description. If you could do that, that'd be awesome. So thank you all so much for watching and goodbye.